Words about Dune, Ben. It is. As in, what are we doing here? Why, Ben? <clears throat> well, Frank Herbert was going to write a new trilogy. Um, and then we'll he died the suddenly. Trilogy. Um, and, yeah. um, I doesn't, unfortunately, uh, it was finished by his incompetent son and his, I don't know what Kevin J. Anderson is to Brian Herbert, but co host, co, co writer, <laughs> co. Yeah. So what we're reading is it's like a ladder, right? Or like a staircase. It's like a staircase built out of weird sex shit. Okay. Each step is just another, another step a little higher onto weirder and more uncomfortable sex shit. Right. And then like, eventually you get to the top and the guy died before he finished building it. And there's just no point to any of it. It was going somewhere, this staircase. And it's fun to speculate where that might have been. It's the staircase in happy days that you ascend and are never seen again. Yes. Yeah. What was that? Uh, something his brother, uh, Ronald Cunningham? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. No happy one days. knows, Ben. No one knows. No one knows. Because we got the Fonz, and that's all that mattered. I mean, it was a good decision for Happy Days. Wait, did you say Richard Cunningham? Isn't that just the main character? No, I said Ronald Cunningham. <laughs> okay. Ronald Reagan Cunningham. Was Ronald... No, Ronald Reagan... Oh, no, he would have been a thing. He would have been an actor. An actor? You remember that from Back to the Future? That's a movie. That's an old movie. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about Dune and Ben. What did we talk about last time? No idea. <laughs> yeah, me neither. So, I actually I listened to we're... it twice. I listened to it once uh, because you didn't finish editing it, and I had to finish up some stuff for you. So I listened all the way through it. Uh, you told me the time codes of the stuff I had to edit, but then I added the recap, and uh, that moved the time codes around. And so I lost the place and had to listen to like the whole episode just to figure out where everything was. <laughs> um, and I, I then put all the stuff in and I uploaded it. And then like the next morning, just to make sure, because I have anxiety, I always listen to the episodes like one more time just to make sure like, I don't know, it didn't like just transform into some like horrible mess that's going to get us canceled overnight or something. And um, so I was, I was doing that check, which I call the sanity check. And uh, <laughs> you still don't I, remember I still, what we talked. I still about. don't know what we talked about. I think we, I think we left off around the point of uh, the the attack Miles on Duncan saving them. Yeah, yeah. So, so I did want to real quickly mention, because uh, I, I did also point out that dark gun-related shenanigans led to the death of the head priest, and he's now a, a face dancer, and the Bene Gesserit are in on it, and also they've taken over, I almost called her Siona, uh, what's her name? Sh Sh Shiana. Shiana. <laughs> there you go, like, clever, you see, it's, it's poetry, it rhymes. Uh, Shiana's tutelage from the priests um but yeah let's we we dive right into the attack on duncan yeah yeah we could do that i um, guess there's an explosion ben Oh yeah, I already mentioned the part of this actually. Yeah, that's the, what I was thinking. I was like, Shwa Wait, we Shwa already Shwa did that, right? is like, uh, I'm gonna go check on my room because I don't think it actually exploded." And Tag's like, "Yeah, go go do it. Call my bluff." It's like, "All right, just wait right yet. here." And then <laughs> and then they left. They they, they fled. And then Shuang Yu's gonna get her when the the honored Matre is coming, take her out. Um. So Teg and Duncan and pre pre pre, pre I, I I finished this today and I can't remember her name. I want to call her Priscilla because Lucilla, you know. But 
That's not her name. It's it's Lucilla. Lucilla. Got it. They're on the run. And no one would ever think to look on the planet that they're on. They they make up a <laughs> they make it look like they took off in a no ship, but in reality they're in a no sphere. This is a little Harkonnen library, Ben. They probably should have taken off in the no ship. That would have been the smart move. That that actually would have been just a solid idea on their part. Because now, now they're just waiting to get another no ship. Is this? I'm going to be honest with you, Nathaniel. I've been bouncing around in my reread. Like I, I've, I have a lot of work I have to do, both like for my real job and for this podcast, and like for the yeah, talking stuff. I, so like, I, I feel that, Ben. I feel yeah. that. <laughs> um, I, ha- I have to at some point see the the Dune movie, which is three sorry, hours I, that I just have I to like sit in a theater. I, yeah, I, I I put my time in, and I do not envy. I do not envy you. Oh, <laughs> uh, so it, that's not even a comment on the movie. That's just a comment on the runtime. It's like value people's time. Like, uh, anyway. Uh, okay, so I'm having a hard time remembering. Is this the book? And if it's not, you're going to be really off put. No, is there's no the... furries in this book. No, nah, man. Our civilization was destroyed by people turning into furries. Ah, <clears throat> what? No, is this the book where the space Jews come into play? No. <laughs> I do remember you mentioning that on your first read. Uh, is that why... <laughs> oh, Jesus. Is that... Ben, they keep talking about how... The the honored mantras they're they're bankers, Ben. They're they're, they're Oh no 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 Okay. No. Oh thank no, God. No, no. Oh thank God. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. That could have gotten really uncomfortable really quickly. No, 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 no. Okay. That that must be in the okay. next book. I, I didn't think so. Like I didn't remember that. But I can't remember where it started. It must start in the next book. Yeah, that's in the next okay. book. They've got furries, they've got space Jews. <laughs> I, I don't know why they needed all that stuff when I feel like you had enough going on as it is, but, you know, you do you, Frank. Yeah, uh, we'll you're, talk about You're going to finish the... it, right? You're going to, it's all paying off. It's all leading somewhere. It's going to pay off. He was so uh, close to being done, Nate. He had uh, like a floppy disk, right? In a safe deposit box that he didn't tell anybody about. And um, it had just thousands and thousands and thousands of pages of detailed notes describing how he wanted to change his entire writing style and how he wanted to bring back every major character from the series as a Gola and wow. how it would be fun. Like if they did like, you know how they did like the Muppet show and then they did Muppet babies. Well, what if we did Dune babies <laughs> Where all the main characters are actually just babies all at the same time, including awesome. Dr. Yue for no fucking reason what? whatsoever. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> so oh that they God. could tell him about how he betrayed everybody he ever knew or loved and make the baby feel bad about it. Oh, all right. That's... Why do we even have Dr. Yue's genetic material in order to remake him in the first place? So, like, imagine me, right? Um, that's either Waff or Sightail. I forget which one of them. Um, they ha- <laughs> let, me, let me look it up. I, I got to know. Um, oh, my God. Because uh, it's going to be bad if I get it wrong. I, I'm, I'm confusing Waff and Sightail. It's well, Saitol. Okay. It's Saitol. Uh, oh, is he actually going to do stuff in the next book? Yeah. He doesn't yeah. do shit in this one. Yeah, no. It's Saitol. That's why. So Saitol has like a necklace or something just filled with genetic material. Don't um, think about uh, why. What? Uh, why? Don't, don't think about why? the implications. Don't think about the, the implications. How does it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. You know that shit's living matter and like. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll just. You it's know, like I'll accept it's a concept, no or... necklace. It's a no necklace where there's no like. Um. Like it, it's outside the universe. Okay. Why did they build? All right. All right. Okay. So he's got a like... bag of holding. Okay. He's got a bag of holding. Got it. 
So this is why I'm struggling, guys, right? Like, first time I read this, first time I read this, I was like, I wonder where this is going. Who are, there's so many mysteries. Yeah, like, who are the honored? That's what the hell I've been wondering, because I, so this is the first, uh, this book and the next book were the only books that I went in not really knowing much of anything, I guess, and yeah. the first book but i had to look that up real quick because i was like holy shit is this gonna ever pick up but i kind of knew what to expect from messiah and children like maybe not the fine details but i i had an overall picture but i and you told me enough about god emperor that i kind of knew it was just going to be a, a worm man talking philosophy the entire time while no one understands what he's saying this one yeah i don't i don't know so What's your experience, Ben, now that I've interrupted you? and Yeah, my experience was program. the first time I read through this, there's all these new mysteries coming in. Like, there's the scattering. It's like, now we don't need the guild. Like, all the all the economics have changed. Like, the sandworms are Lido, and where, where are they going with that? Like, what is the pearl of awareness? How? What implications does that have? Why is Shiana so important what is it about her that connects to the Lido 2 inside the worms what are the honored matres running from uh how do they even work like what is the drug they take what what are their like beliefs and and are they descended from the Bene Gesserit because they seem to have similar training and so there's like all these mysteries going on right and it's like now I know it all just ends with that Kevin J. Anderson, Brian Herbert abomination. <laughs> it's it's Game of Thrones, Ben. I can't enjoy the first four seasons because yeah. I know it ends in the seventh and the eighth season. Well, the thing is, with this one, the first four seasons, I still liked them. On the reread, yeah. I still liked them. But this one, I this like specific arc... <laughs> This specific arc is not going to have a satisfying conclusion. And I'm really only seeing the problems. And I, I speculated in, in the, the first episode we did that, like, I don't know if anybody's going to want to listen to this. Because I don't know if Dune fans are going to like it because I'm not having a great time. And I don't know if anyone I... who's not a dune fan is going to listen to it because we're five books in and they're huge <laughs> and the episodes are just as long you could probably read the book in a time it took to listen to the episodes so who are we doing this for Killhower, i guess yeah and and us i i guess i mean i gotta i gotta see it through to the end at this point i mean we I have to say, yeah we have to have this conversation this it's, this book is definitely more like action packed than all of other all the other Frank Herbert books. It's got a lot of sex. I know that's sex. a low bar. It's got Oh, it's got maybe maybe a bit too much, man. Like that was all like the breeding stuff was always like that's a part of Dune, but like I feel like it's it's front and center now and I would appreciate it if it would just go back into the background, please. Okay. So I'm going to say there's like three moments I really want to talk about and a lot of boring stuff in between. So do you want to talk about the yeah. boring stuff in between? Uh, Well, does, is that part of the no room, Ben? We're in the no chamber with our three heroes just waiting for the new Bashar <laughs> or not the new Bashar, but the Supreme Commander or whatever his rank is to come in and no, save him. No, because Miles is Bashar 1 and the other guy is Bashar A. Yeah, there you go. They're we They're don't, equal yeah, Kobashars. Exactly. We can't undermine him. So, like, you know, everyone still needs to know he's in charge, but, like, me too, right? Right. Like, how about we call you, like, Super Bashar? It has no more responsibilities or pay or prestige, but we pretend that you're in charge whenever we're around. And I'm going to do all the cool heroic action stuff. People are going to remember me. I'm going to get a Gola. You're going to get a funeral. Okay. So Teg is like, I've got to awaken Duncan's memories now before he gets that 
weird imprinting stuff. And uh, I think we're all like, th- thank you, Tag. I really appreciate that, actually, that you didn't let the creepy sex ninja go from mommy to stepmommy and just thank you tag just really i really appreciate that so stand up tag, i'm sure you'll be rewarded for this yes yeah exactly i'm sure nothing is going to put a really awful sour taste in my mouth in the next book uh especially <laughs> related to tag so tag takes it upon himself to keep Duncan away from the imprinter as much as possible so that he can work on training him and awakening those memories before. The whole time Lucilla's just driving up with like a van. She's like, I got puppies in the back. I got candy. You want to come into my van? And Teg's like, you don't go in that van, Duncan. There's a pervert in that van. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> she's trying to get your precious bodily fluids Duncan <laughs> well we know that Frank Herbert does not think that women can sexually assault a man according to God Emperor of Dune so like I like to imagine Frank Herbert in, uh, in the year of our lord 2024 being like just because I had a character say something doesn't mean I said it like, just because Leto II doesn't believe that a woman can assault a man, even though he has the entire ancestral memory of, like, humanity, and he can't come up with one example of that. Uh, I only see the problems now. <laughs> I'm doing last, your work for you. <laughs> I, have, I have played the long game, Ben. At last. I have made you dissatisfied with Dune. I As just... is my revenge for you making me read that first fucking book. I could accept... I mean, why sugarcoat it? The basic, like, eugenics of Dune. Like, within the logic of the Dune universe, I could accept that that was a thing that had happened. And that these people were products of those systems... And they were trying to, like, work within those systems. Um, but now that I know it doesn't go anywhere, I, it, like, there's two options, man. Like, there's, there's, there's literally two options. First option, uh, Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson, full of shit. They just... They just got an outline and they just filled in the gaps and it sucks and it's all their fault. Second option. They really did have thousands and thousands of pages of notes. <laughs> and it really and it really was going to be a Muppet Babies of Dune. And like the more Whoa. I read this book again, the more I'm like, oh no. What if it really was? supposed to be Muppet Babies of Dune. <laughs> what if they what if they're just shit writers, but that really was the story? What if Frank Herbert had wrote Baby Leto the Second turns into a wereworm? What if that is where it was going? And every time I see a grown woman trying to assault a child sexually. I'm just like, oh, God. (laughs) Like when Beverly Herbert died, this whole story died. (laughs) That's all I can think. great man i oh i played the long game and i won how do how do i sit here how do i sit here and i'm and we're talking about this we're talking about they're trapped in a fucking storage locker with with a woman who needs to have sex with this child (laughs) who 
who is a thousand year old dragon. Don't worry, it's okay. And <laughs> you're right. <laughs> it's hentai. The whole fucking thing is just hentai. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> oh my god. As oh. soon as I started rereading, dude, I was sitting. I was in downtown Baltimore. Let me paint you a picture. I'm in downtown Baltimore. I'm sitting in my brother's apartment. I'm reading Dune. Oh, God. While, like, I'm waiting for everybody to, like, wake up and we're going to get ready and go out. So I'm, like, reading this book and I'm like, there's there's a lot more of this than I remember. (laughs) There's a lot more of this than I remember. Like, I forgot. So I realized I was in trouble when I was like, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, Taraza, Tag, Odrade, Shiana, Duncan. Who the hell's Lucilla? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just blocked that out. <laughs> She's a professional groomer. She's the best at what she does. <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> oh. oh okay, yeah, yeah, so that's... Teg's gotta Teg's gotta turn him into a man before Lucilla can get him as a child. Let's go. <laughs> oh, Let's <just> go. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that can save this child is if he can age too fast for the, <laughs> oh, the groomer to get him. <laughs> <laughs> once once he has all his memories of those thousand years his immature child mind will no longer be attractive to her let's go oh god oh my gosh yeah and you know the so... best thing for anybody who hasn't read this for anybody who chose to experience this through words about books you freaks uh it gets worse it gets so much worse <laughs> <laughs> And like it's colored the whole fucking thing now. It's colored the whole thing. I don't even want to watch this movie now. Why did we do all this? Five years of my life, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh. I'm so is... glad. Like <laughs> I'm so glad all the sexual subtext in Lord of the Rings is just implied. Yeah, it would I'm be so really glad. awkward if uh I don't have to watch Sam Plow Frodo. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, this is the episode. I <laughs> Look, if you want a summary of the story, there's a million of them. You come to words about books for the insight, for the commentary, oh, and I'm giving it to say you. Incest, and no, that, that's not why that, you come here. That is... Don't come here for that. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, so... it's like okay. So yeah, he awakens the memories. Please, God, move on. Please. The the Tlaxu and the Bene Gesserit, uh, the two of them have joined forces. Question mark. Yep. Yeah. I don't. I don't know what the Bene Tlaxu believe in. Ben, do they worship There's the Ensuni. emperor? There's Ensuni. Yeah, I knew that, but they seem to highly revere the God Emperor as well. They believe that the God Emperor and, to a lesser extent, Paul, were prophets of the true religion. I don't think they worship the God Emperor as a god, but as perhaps the voice of God, a Moses figure. I see. Okay. So, yeah, Odrad... And Odrade? How do you say that, Ben? It's, I say it's Odrade, not the way I want. But... Okay, it's Odrade. So yeah, uh, Odrade and Chiana and Waff. 
They're all they're all gonna go out into the desert, ride a worm with her. Which is something she's only done once. And this worm <laughs> It was Shiana. <laughs> yeah. Shiana's like, trust me, I've done this once before, guys. Hey worm. Hey worm. Come here. He's cool. Get on him. It's not as epic as the Fremen. Like you're probably gonna watch this this new movie, and you're probably gonna they see Paul ride a worm. And... Yeah. Yeah, it's probably gonna be this whole big thing, and it's gonna look really cool. This is more like we like a unicorn. You know how like a unicorn, uh, like bends down to like let a princess on. Like that's what this worm does. Yeah, and it it takes them off. And where does it take them, Ben? Siege Tabor. Of course. There's only one other place on Dune. Didn't... Like, Siona knew Siege Tabor had hidden spice stores, right? I think everybody knew. I think they just couldn't Why... find it. Why did... Oh, okay. So she never found it then? No. Okay, because I was like, why wasn't this place just looted? Okay, that makes sense. Or she sense. never used it. I can't remember. Well, they go in there, and they they find the God Emperor's musings on the Bene Gesserit, and um, that is basically what you said last time, where they're they're so close to being what humanity needs, they're not quite there yet. Are they destined to just fade away like some cult, or are they gonna rise to the occasion and be something better, Ben? So that's actually my favorite scene in this book, to be perfectly frank with you. The perfectly frank. To say, <laughs> <laughs> it's a little Dune humor. <laughs> to, to say something nice about the book. Um, the coolest <laughs> scene is that Leto carved this himself with a laser gun or something. When he still had legs, like when he was still worm boy hero of the, the desert. Um. That's Did he how just tell like, everyone to leave Siege Tabor. <laughs> everyone I out. I need to carve my mural. He probably did because he was like working on the Museum Fremen or something. But like he had legs for quite a while. Siege Tabor might have been abandoned at some point before he like he he probably had like a good thousand years before he well, got I mean, too wormy. He he had legs in God Emperor of Dune. Yeah, I mean uh, he had the functional beginning. legs for like a thousand <laughs> years or something. So he, you know, I, I thought that was cool that that's how far in the future he saw. He knew all of this would happen. Like, they're still not free of the golden path quite yet. They thought they were done with it. Like, they thought they were out of Leto's reach and that they, like, the God Emperor was gone and he had failed or whatever. And, like, they, they survived and they persisted. No. This is still part of the plan. Yeah. His work Dying is was not part done. of the plan. It was. It literally was. Yeah. Yeah. He, he was thinking of the long, long game. Eat of this spice. It is my body. Broken for you. Drink of the water and, of life if, if you got like a really high tolerance. And that is what... No, no, I was just uh, blasphemy. Make no, it some on. Christian, yeah. <laughs> so, Odraid. <laughs> this, this is what <coughs> she like. She like is all friendly and shit towards the Benny Tlaxu after this. Is there a reason for that, Ben? Like immediately after this. So I think she realizes that they need the Bene Tleilax for a couple of reasons. I could be mixing things up. Maybe this is made explicit later on, but they need the axolotl tanks. They're going to need spice. They're going to need allies against the honored matres. They're yeah. going to probably need golas. And the Bene Tleilax are the only ones who can provide that. And Why do we need allies against the Honored Matres when, so far, they have been seen twice in this book, and they have been either killed or outsmarted? 
Because uh, what Odrade knows that you don't is that in Honored Matres of Dune, they were actually very threatening. Oh, shit. Yeah. Like, the Honored Matres have been going around screwing up Bene Gesserit plans. The Bene Gesserit are still mostly in control. But the Honored Matres are taking over planets, and they're taking them from the Bene Gesserit. They're not important planets, you know, except for the one Duncan's on, which is like the fate of their whole order. But there's there's another opportunity here to take over their old enemy. The Bene Tleilax have been a thorn in the Bene Gesserit's side for longer than anyone. And if they can infiltrate the Bene Tleilax, if they can figure out what the hell these guys have been up to, if they can somehow, because they've never been able to incorporate any Bene Tleilax into the breeding program. Yeah, they have been trying to look incompetent this entire time to play the long game to then reveal their secret geniuses, Ben. That was part of their plan. Yes, and it's been working. Yeah. No we, one suspects I that totally they are secret geniuses. I totally thought they were a bunch of fucking idiots, but <laughs> yeah, that it worked on me, Ben. Yeah. I, honestly, I don't think they're supposed to be secret geniuses. I think they're just supposed to be people who have a particular heretical technology that the Bene Gesserit now find themselves willing to take advantage of. Well, way, Waff did say in his introduction that they have been intentionally throwing fights and intentionally being uh, unscrupulous in order to put in the minds of everyone that they are deceitful, not to be trusted, and a bunch of fuck-ups. So, it's part of the plan, then. There's no denying that there is a retcon at place here. No. There's, he's, he's trying, I, I said this in the last episode, he's trying to do something with like the, the Bene Gesserit are female power. The Bene Tleilax are male power. Are the Tleilax and, and the Gesserit going to, uh, become one and just call themselves the Bene? No. Oh, are no, they going to attempt going to become to one or no? Okay. Um, No. Okay. How does this book, well, where does this book end? Uh, spoiler alert, Dune gets glassed like it's Halo. Okay. Um, can I give you one more spoiler and this has to get edited out? Okay. What? What? Like this just happens at the end of this book or in between books? No, this happens next book, I guess. So why am I reading all this, Ben? Why? I know, right? Why? I know. Like... Why, did, like, why did they spend all this time introducing Waff and introducing like their Zen Sunni philosophy and like we're exploring more of the Tleoax now than we ever have before and then just like, nah, nah fuck them. So I think Waff Steel is, Waff thinks he can bring them back maybe or something like Waff wants, so he need, or not Waff, fuck Waff, uh, Saitol. Saitol winds up as a refugee on Chapter House. Oh, is this where Chapter his House. necklace full of... Yeah, yeah, and that's his <laughs> bargaining chip. He's like, I can make golas of every important figure in history. Oh. And... Okay, it is a bag of holding. And, it's literally yeah. a bag of holding. Okay. And he's like, I, I can do that, and I can um, make spice... And I need you to let me make a gola for myself because uh, bodies, you know, wearing out. I need to like switch. So, can I turn a Does couple? Does he of, switch back uh, to a face dancer body, Ben? Like he was? No, in... no okay. he's still a tiny little elf man. And he's like, "Can okay. I turn a couple of Bene Gesserit into axolotl tanks?" Why wouldn't he just be a face dancer, Ben? Because then he could just become the tiny little elf man. And then he can change his format. Whatever, whatever. I'm sure and, um, there's some sort of advantage of being a tiny elf man. Instead that I've never of just picking of. up some like random women and making them axolotl tanks, a couple of Bene Gesserit sisters volunteer. 
If it helps, I still don't fully know what a axolotl tank is, but you've told me enough, and I remember researching it and going, ah, so, yeah, wow, yeah, you are just, uh, yeah, you are just taking all of the wind out of my sails, um, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and leave some of that conversation in. I'm gonna have to edit yeah. and censor. I mean, like, and... yeah, I don't know Fuck. if you would bleep it, but like, yeah, there's not. That's what when I said it got so much worse. I was like, God, yeah. So what am here's I the doing problem. here? Ben? Here's the problem. Here's the, here's the problem. Here's the problem. Like Chapter House Dune is like the Empire Strikes Back of this trilogy. So like, it's the it's low the point. worst place. It's the worst yeah, it's, possible place to end. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. Like, it's like the bad guys are basically going to win. Uh, we barely are, are still alive. All of our most important resources have been taken from us. What the hell are we going to do now? How could we and possibly then, salvage this? And then and he then fucking Kevin died. Kevin J. Anderson. Uh, yeah, and then it got like worse. A second Death Star. <laughs> and then it got worse. And Kevin J. Anderson came in. <laughs> And they decided and to just, split it into two books. They decided to split it into two books, and they decided to write it cinematically. Oh, boy. Uh, like, <sighs> what are we doing it's, here, man? Just that revelation, like, Jesus Christ, I dude. know. Like, I've been sitting on that the uh, whole time. And that doesn't even include... Oh, look. Look forward the to our recapping scene. of the next Dune book if we actually feel like it, I guess. Uh, no, we have to. That's <laughs> the thing. We We've damned ourselves, I Nate. I don't want to, but we have to. We literally must. Oh, God. We could have We could have ended this at God Emperor, Ben. We had Everything the... should have. <laughs> Frank should have ended it. Why do authors keep writing series that they can't finish before they die. Looking at you, George R. R. Martin. Now's the time Everybody's to hire Kevin J. Looking Anderson. At you. <laughs> oh, God, no! God, no! I, the, the Steve Carell meme right now. <laughs> no, God, no! Please, no! <laughs> I, just leave it unfinished. Just stop. <laughs> I'm gonna start. As far as I know, Danny attic. just settled in Marine. She's fine. She's uh, she she freed the slaves and she stayed there to rule them. It's great. Uh, All right. So to Teraza, Ben, he sent her best man, well, her second best man, to look for her best man, Burzmali, and he found something. He's like, I found this this ship that took off. It looks like a no ship that took off, but I'm like pretty sure Teg is down there because of this and this and this. He painted decoy on the side in no paint yeah. so that you could only see it with a no scope. <laughs> no scope. And you have to spin around in a circle first to get a 360 no scope. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's like, a, like it's, a, it's in a quantum state. You got to... You got to spin, but a spin doesn't necessarily get you back to where you started. It's a no scope. So she's like, "All right, you're, you got to go down there and get him, and be stealthy about it. But also, probably you're not going to fool anyone, and this is going to go sideways like really fast. And it does, Ben. It it shit goes sideways so hard. Um, Oh yeah, I guess we should mention Idaho. He's a man now, and he doesn't want that that imprinter woman. So that's good. And um, uh, they're gonna be rescued by Burzmali. A fight happens. There's a lot more action in this Dune book, Ben. And a fight happens, and and Teg is like, I am going to have a valiant last stand right now. This is my this is my swan song. It's all over for me. You guys need to get out of here. I'll hold the line. I got this, guys. I'm definitely this is the end of my story and um poof, he's gone or is he Ben? And then uh somehow Duncan also gets separated, right? He's not with them. 
Bersmali is with uh, Lucilla, and Duncan is with some other guy, and Duncan's pretending to be a Teoaxu, and they're all trying to get back to a safe house that's been marked on a map th- that is definitely safe, Ben. It's super safe. Yep. Is there anything yep. else? I feel like there's. I'm missing something else, but I don't think it's important. Is there no, something I'm missing? Good. Okay. Let's just go straight to the T probe. Yeah, the T probe stands for terror or torture. A <laughs> <laughs> T probe, torture probe, the torture there you go. probe. <laughs> <laughs> so Tag is being T probed. He, in fact, did not die in that Valiant Last Stand, which is what I thought was going to happen. Because spoiler alert, I knew Tag was going to die, but no, it's not here. So they're T-probing him, and they're T-probing him, and they, they just, they're turning up the T-probe, and the pain is just so immense, and eventually, under torture, Teg becomes the legend, Ben, the legend that you fear. Teg has become a super mentat. <laughs> or something? Yeah, Frank Herbert really I have no did, fucking like... clue. <laughs> Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, I wish he'd finished the series. <laughs> what did the notes in the, in the attic say? Either. What did the what? What did the notes in the attic say, Ben? Uh, I don't know. What did they call this? I don't know if they called it anything. Okay, well. He's that's... just fast now. He's fast and he's strong. He's like a regular... He's He's got the power of like six old men. I, I don't... I don't... I, I don't know why... Why people are suddenly getting like... Superior physical abilities. It's the God Emperor's plan, Ben. It's something no one has ever seen before. Yeah, I guess that's true. I guess it could be like... The genetic tampering it's Leto a did. Surprise, Ben. Yep. And boy, weren't they surprised? They're were like, "Oh no, quick T probe him again!" And he destroyed them with his superior. He's moving so fast; everyone else is moving slow, Ben. And he's so powerful; one punch can obliterate their entire body. It is kind of like Goku because he also gets super hungry afterwards. <laughs> like he has to eat a lot of food. Do you remember that? Yeah. I don't think yes. Frank Herbert ever watched anime. That's no, the bizarre he's, thing he's about all of this. Anime and a hentai. It's like I'm and watching he's... somebody independently discover like the stories of anime. <laughs> He's independently creating an anime in book form. It's like how, um, oh. He was tapping in in, into an entirely different culture that he didn't even know he had. Yeah, well, it's it's like how Isaac Newton and uh, Gottfried Leibniz both invented calculus at, like, the same time. Like, they both just independently came up with the same equations and such. Like it's like that's what I'm watching. Like at the same period of time in Japan, some guy is writing weird shonen, like weird perverted shonen anime, while Frank Herbert is simultaneously like, "What if I did weird perverted shonen anime?" And the only thing that differs is like the notation that they use. <laughs> You don't really have any more to say about it. Yeah, that. I'm like, yeah, you're not, you're not wrong. I don't. <laughs> uh, so the only thing I could say is I don't think there's ever like a full resolution as to what's going on here in the Frank Herbert stuff. There may well be in the Brian Herbert stuff, but I honestly don't care what that guy has to say about anything. And I'm tired of kind of pretending I do. Like I'm, I'm, t- I'm tired of kind of pretending to. That his stuff just isn't absolute trash. <laughs> As someone who was able to get most of the way through one of his original books, you're correct in that he is trash. Also, we're uh, we're doing that for his uh, 
for that bonus. I episode. read <laughs> the whole. Um, I can't even what, fathom that man. When uh, I Hunters got, of Dune or something? I, I, yeah, what the hell is it called? yeah, Hunters of Dune. I I can't even imagine how you did that because I was about halfway through House Atreides and I was like, how does this keep going? I feel like you've told the story already. It's over. Would How are you it, continuing to go? Would it make me seem more impressive if I told you that like all of Hunters of Dune takes place on one no ship? I don't even know how you do that. I don't even know. They're just how walking it, around. It's Muppet Babies in space. That's how. Is that how they managed to get two books out of it? They're like, what if we made the first one just like, we don't do anything except Muppet Babies. And then the, the, the resolution will be sandworms, right? Absolutely nothing happens in Hunters that of Dune. Is- par for the course for most of their writing you like cut whole chapters from they make goals of, of everybody they make goals of everybody uh shiana's weird duncan's weird he you know like he's he's going like full-blown quesat's adirac like and it's just like kind of like okay everything i just told you Stretch that into like 600 pages. Leto's a wereworm. Like he can turn into a worm. I'm not joking. Like he's a baby. He's an I infant. You told me this. He's he an infant a worm. that can turn into a sandworm if threatened. I don't know, like a tiny sandworm. I don't know if it's just his head and neck become a sandworm. Somebody tries to kill him because everybody hates the God Emperor. And he bites their goddamn hand off. Because you can turn into a sandworm. Sandworms don't bite, by the way. Like, they swallow you whole because they're so big. Yeah, but, but as you know, you can survive inside of one. Uh, and you just throw a little bit of dynamite in there and uh, problem solved, Ben. Yeah, so you can't... Um, they don't know what a sandworm is. It's just a worm. It's tremors, Ben. No, it's not. You use a tiny like, radio-controlled car with a little bit of C4 on it, no problem. I don't know why the is, Fremen have had such a hard time. This is why this I say I don't care right what price. they have to say about any of these deeper <laughs> mysteries. Like, they straight up do not know what a sandworm is. Every time they write about sandworms, they fuck it up. They do something that is completely contradictory to Frank Herbert's stories. And it's like, if you asked any random person off the street who had any idea what Dune was, what do you know about Dune? They're going to say sandworms. It's the only thing that survived into pop culture from this show or from this book. Like it's in Beetlejuice for Christ's sake. Sandworms is like the only thing and they fucked it up. So, yeah, if anyone's wondering, we don't know what Teg is now. (laughs) No, and And if Brian Herbert told you something, forget it. He's an idiot. He's some sort of super mentat with super mentat powers. And also, uh, he's super strong and buff and chadly. And he's awakened not his third eye, but his second vision. So... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> he's like your friend you can see sounds <laughs> it's a useful talent to have I'm sure oh boy oh, okay Jeez. so yeah Teg, Teg has awakened his double vision and uh, through the powers of a T-probe, just T-probing the shit out of him, man. And um, meanwhile, uh, Lucilla and uh, I want to say Basmati, but that's wrong. Burs, that's Rice. Burs, 
Bursmali. Yeah, Basmati is the rice. Bursmali yep. is the man. Um, so they are making their way to that super safe house that is very safe, and nothing is wrong here. And Bursmali gets his ass kicked by someone who is part. I don't think she's a honored matre, but she's working for them. Um, Merbella, Mur- or maybe she she's is like, an honored matre. She's, she's an like initiate. an honored matre in in training. She's an initiate. Yeah. There you go. Are you gonna? Are you just gonna glance over the part where Bersmali's gotta get Lucilla all warmed up in case they check her for? Vag- I'm I'm sorry. Uh, I must have either missed that part or blanked it from my mind, Ben. <laughs> I'm sorry. You have to go back and explain now. What? There's what? a part where they're wandering the the city, right? And Lucilla's going to pretend to be the episode. Like they send that's right. Ben this. gave me the opportunity to make this a two parter, and I'm taking it. And I will probably not see you in the next part. <laughs>